In this video, we're going to show you exactly how to become a personal trainer following five simple steps, including how to get qualified, what to look out for in a course, and how to land your very first personal training job. My name's Luke Hughes, Sales and Marketing Director at Origin, the UK's largest training provider that certifies thousands of personal trainers each year. Let's jump straight in. Step one, get the right qualifications. If you want to work as a personal trainer in the UK, there are two qualifications that you will need. The level two certificate in fitness instructing and the level three certificate in personal training. The level two in fitness instructing is the mandatory prerequisite qualification before moving on to your level three in personal training. You can study these two qualifications together in the format of a personal training diploma. These qualifications must be Ofqual regulated qualifications. Ofqual is the sister company to Ofsted and controls the standard of vocational qualifications in the UK, whether it's in the fitness industry, beauty, web design, or social care. You would not be able to legally operate as a trainer in the UK without an Ofqual regulated qualification. Accreditation. The next thing you need to be aware of when deciding to become a personal trainer is recognition. Since the Register of Exercise Professionals, or REPS for short, dissolved in 2020, there is one major accreditation that you need to make sure your qualification is recognized by. SIMSPA, which stands for the Chartered Institute of Management of Sport and Physical Activity, is the professional development body for the UK sport and physical activity sector and is backed by Sport England to help raise the standard of personal trainers qualifying into the industry. SIMSPA accredited qualifications are that important that you may not even be able to get an interview, let alone a job without it. See here, this job role advertised for a fitness coach with PureGym. They specify that you must have a SIMSPA recognized level three personal training qualification to apply for this role. Or here, on Virgin Active's personal trainer job description that you must have at minimum a reps level three or SIMSPA equivalent qualification. You should not just check with the provider that they're a SIMSPA partner, but you can actually check it out yourself by viewing their directory of approved training companies. See on screen, ourselves origin as an approved SIMSPA partner. I've put a link in the description for you to the SIMSPA partner directory, where you can check approved companies out for yourself. How long does it take to become a personal trainer? The length of time it takes to become a personal trainer is largely dependent on the study method you choose to get qualified. For example, at Origin, you can learn via three different study methods. You can study online, also referred to as home study, or e-learning. Via blended learning, also referred to as part-time or immersive training. And full-time study, also referred to as intensive learning or classroom-based study. Studying your PT course online. With online learning, the average time for completion is around 16 weeks. You will learn via our award-nominated e-learning platform, which is fully interactive, has videos, e-books, an extensive exercise library, and seven days per week tutor support. Online learning is the most cost-effective route, as you are largely learning at home without attending a physical venue or being taught every day. We as the provider do not have to pay out for a venue or tutor and the cost therefore to you as the student is less. You get complete flexibility against your schedule where you can study around your full-time job, educational study, if you have kids or whenever suits you best. You will qualify at your own pace that suits you as an individual against your lifestyle and you get up to two years per level to complete the qualifications. You will get seven days per week distance tutor support via email, 
phone or chat box from qualified teachers and assessors. You can start within 24 hours and start progressing towards your new career immediately as you're not waiting around for a start date. Studying your PT course via blended learning. With blended learning, you get a mix of both online and face-to-face -face tutoring. The average student takes around 12 weeks to complete the course via blended learning. You will get all the same benefits of learning online, such as the ability to start within 24 hours, learning largely from home, and at a pace suitable to you. You will get extra taught webinars, which you can attend both live and watch pre-recorded from our in-house tutor team. These are not available to online learners. Additionally, you get face-to-face -face practical and theory workshops, which you can attend on weekends in small groups of up to 12 other students. You will get exclusive access to assessment preparation days, where you can practice your practical delivery prior to being assessed and get constructive feedback from our qualified tutors. Studying a full-time personal training course. Full-time classroom-based study is a four-week course with a set start and end date. It takes two weeks to qualify for your level two and two weeks to qualify for your level three. This four-week course runs Monday to Friday, nine till five. As this course has a set start date and end date, you will know exactly when you will be qualified and can prepare for jobs with this in mind. You will learn through face-to-face -face learning in small groups with other students in the exact same boat as yourself, being taught by a qualified teacher and experienced trainer. You will get hands-on gym experience every day on the gym floor, where you can put the theoretical work into practice. Most providers only offer one or two ways that you can qualify. You just need to ensure that the method you choose is the most productive for you as an individual. How you'll be assessed. Every regulated personal training course has the same core units and assessments. This is so an employer knows with confidence when hiring trainers, what training modules the PT has covered, regardless of which training provider they've studied with. All theory assessments within a personal training diploma are multiple choice and all practical assessments are either a pass or a refer, which is a fancy term for fail. Here is how you'll be assessed on your course. Level two fitness instructing compulsory assessments. You will complete a theory paper on anatomy and physiology, which covers the systems, bones, joints, and muscles of the body. You will also do a paper on principles of exercise, fitness, and health. This is just how the body reacts and adapts to different forms of training. You will need to complete coursework-based assignments on a range of topics including health and safety, how to motivate an individual and groups, how to prepare a personal training session amongst many other modules. Finally, you will complete a practical assessment at the end of your course where you will deliver a dynamic warm-up, two fixed resistance, two free weight and two body weight exercises and then a cool down with static stretching involved. Level 3 personal training compulsory assessments. You again will do a paper on advanced anatomy and physiology which includes learning the energy systems, posture and core as well as the endocrine system. The second theoretical exam at level three is the application of nutrition to a physical activity program. This includes understanding macros and micros, how to analyze a client's nutritional intake and programming a nutrition plan based on their goals. As the same as your level two, again at level three, you will complete coursework based assignments. These include things such as setting SMART goals, client screening, performing a PT consultation, to name just a few. The final part of the level three is again the practical assessment, where this time you will deliver a customized personal training program for a client's needs, which consists of doing 10 minutes of CV component, four advanced training systems, and how you would progress and regress exercises. 
how to choose a course provider. As we have already mentioned, completing an off-call regulated course that is SIBSPA accredited, as well as choosing the right study method is essential. But here are seven key tips on picking the best value for money course for you. How much tutor support will I get when studying to become a personal trainer? Quality and format of support is what makes a good quality course. For example, just because you opt for an online or blended learning course does not mean you should be left to your own devices or have no point of contact if and when you get stuck. Some providers offer no help and support at all to students. For example, see on screen this screenshot taken from one of our competitors' websites in their small print. The better quality the provider, the more help and support you will receive. For example, here at Origin, our distance learning students get seven days per week dedicated tutor support from a qualified teacher and trainer. We offer help through three systems via phone consultations, email and live chat box for instant messaging and help. Our support has the longest opening hours in the industry, giving you access to help when you actually need it. What additional CPD qualifications will I get with my personal training diploma? CPD qualifications are specialist short courses where you can get certified in various types of training. For example, you could specialize in kettlebell training, indoor cycling, suspension training, boxing and pad work, circuit training, body weight training, or medicine ball training, to name just a few. Most companies, not all, will add some CPD qualifications as part of their PT course packages that you can complete once you have undertaken your personal training diploma. See here how we're offering numerous CPD qualifications as part of our personal training course packages. These CPD courses are highly sought after by trainers and cost £130 each, which is why having a few for free in your package can save you money in the long run. Before enrolling with any provider, you should find out how many extra additional qualifications come as part of their package, if any. Will you receive any post-course support? Sometimes referred to as career support, post-course support is an additional service that some providers offer to help their PT graduates get started in the industry. Some providers offer no post-course support at all, whilst others may charge this as an additional add-on. Here at Origin, we believe this is critical for helping our graduates kickstart their careers. Our support includes free CV analysis, interview preparation, free business and marketing resources, access to an exclusive jobs board, guaranteed post-course interviews with leading gyms. You should ask your course provider what and how much post-course support they provide and whether it's included as part of the cost. Reputation, stability and reviews. Before buying any course, you should always do your due diligence and check out the provider's credibility. There are two major things that you should check before signing up to a PT course. Check their financial status on Companies House and the training provider's reviews on neutral sites. To check Companies House, simply type the company's name into Google, followed by Companies House and the result should be the top search as seen here for our company. From here, you can view the company's financial status by clicking on filing history and even download their financials. If you see any notices of action like this one on screen, which has been taken from a real training provider, you should run a million miles. It shows the company has been in financial trouble and if they go out of business, you will lose every penny you have paid for your course. 
Unfortunately, this does actually happen. See here reviews left by very disappointed FitLearn students when they went into liquidation and subsequently they have lost hundreds upon hundreds of pounds. Checking review sites like BFO, Review Center, or Trustpilot will give you an understanding of what real past customers have to say about how good the course is and an indication to the quality of service that you will receive. Is there any hidden costs? The next point to check when finding out how to become a personal trainer is to check for hidden costs or potential charges. Extra costs can be applied in terms of conditions for various things, such as course registration, course certification, taking exams or resets, interest rates, cancellations, extra tutor or career support. You should always read the terms and conditions, normally printed on enrollment forms prior to signing up with any provider, as it can drum up the cost of your course without you even realizing it. For example, one of our competitors charges £150 for a practical reset, £35 to send out your certificate, and you can optionally pay an extra £200 for post-course career guidance. All things that we do here at Origin for nothing. How much does the course cost? Personal training courses range in price from £699 through to around £3,000, which is largely based on the information we have just gone through. The level of support you get, the study method you choose, quality of learning resources, post-course support, additional qualifications included, company's reputation, extra costs. Only once you have this information can you determine the value you're getting on your personal training course. Value is not necessarily something that is cheap. It is quality versus price. In the same way, if a course is priced high, that does not mean it is overpriced, as long as the quality of what you're paying for matches the price that you pay. Wait a minute, have you still not qualified as a PT? Check out this cool video we got right here. Become a personal trainer with the UK's leading training provider. Over 50,000 trainers qualified. Study how suits you best, whether online, part-time or full-time. Internationally recognized Simspa endorsed training. Turn your hobby into your career. Whether you want to work in a gym, become an online trainer, freelance from people's homes, or use the great outdoors, visit originpersonaltrainercourses.co.uk and shape your future the way you want it. Choose a career path. Once you are qualified, the next step is to decide on the ideal career path for you. As a qualified PT, you have three main options. Being hired directly by a gym, freelancing in a gym, becoming an independent personal trainer. Hired directly by a gym. This career option involves working a contracted number of hours and earning a fixed wage. This job structure is extremely common in high-end clubs like Nuffield Health, Virgin Active and David Lloyd's. If we take a look at this job advert from David Lloyd's, you can see it clearly states the salary, contracted number of hours and that the job is permanent. With this type of job, you get a guaranteed set salary, which is around 19,500 outside of London and around 21,000 in London. You can earn extra income on top of your basic salary by receiving commission through hitting financial targets that are set by the gym. These PT revenue targets start small when you're new and then incrementally increase, normally over a six month duration, until your targets are in line with all the other trainers in the gym. Normally, gyms pay up to 50% of the revenue you generate back in commission, as long as you hit your target that is. For example, a typical target would be to generate £2,000 in personal training revenue. If you hit this target dead on to the penny, 
you would therefore get £1,000 back in commission for that month. If you averaged this out over the year and added it to your basic wage, you would pick up £31,500. Working for a high-end gym allows you to gain industry experience in a relatively low-risk environment. The pros of being hired on a set salary include guaranteed salary and potential bonuses, don't need to worry about marketing and getting clients from external sources. You get a benefits package such as free memberships, discounts, pension and private healthcare. You get more guidance from managers and free CPD training. Freelancing in a gym. Working as a freelance trainer in a gym is a more flexible career path. However, you will be solely responsible for getting clients from the gym floor, retaining those clients and managing your own diary. Freelance trainers generally pay rent to the club and in exchange, they can use the club's facilities to train their clients. Rent costs are typically around 400 to 600 pounds a month, depending on the brand. However, this cost varies depending on factors such as where the gym is located. For example, you could pay up to £1,200 a month to freelance at a club in an affluent area of London. Some gyms such as The Gym Group, Pure Gym and JD Gyms offer part-time contracts alongside this freelancing structure. This allows their personal trainers to work a set number of hours on the gym floor earning about enough to cover the cost of their rent. Here's an example of how this structure works at the gym group, taken from their website for a personal trainer role in Dagenham. As you can see, you will pay a set rent fee to the club, which is roughly in line with what you would get from the hours that you're contracted. Outside of those contracted hours, you will keep 100% of the revenue that you earn. Some of the pros of freelancing in a gym. The freedom and flexibility of running your own business. Large supply of members to sell your services to. Keep 100% of the money you make. And no costs in terms of buying equipment. Becoming an independent or self-employed personal trainer. The final potential career path is becoming an independent or self-employed PT by setting up your own business. Independent PTs have complete control over their working hours, job structure, branding and marketing. They create their own business strategy, prices and ultimately determine the success of their own business. See how independent PT Vicky Hill has successfully set up her own business in the niche of women's fitness, with a specific focus on offering pre and postnatal services. She has created her own packages catered to specific groups within her niche, all of which she has priced according to the cost that she values her services at. You can be an independent trainer through various different mediums. Online personal training, where you create programs and give clients support distantly. Outdoor personal training, where you can deliver PT sessions using the great outdoors such as parks, fields, or on the beach. Home personal training, where you either travel to clients' houses or they travel to your home. Run classes, which you can do from a private hall, studio, the park, or you can even freelance from gym to gym. You can even start your very own PT studio or gym. You can combine any of the above together. This career path has the highest earning potential, but naturally it comes with the biggest risks and your earnings are directly proportional to how successful your business is. Here are some pros of becoming a self-employed personal trainer. Unlimited room for progression. Highest potential earning capacity. Creating your own brand. You can specialize in an area that particularly interests you. You get total flexibility where you can choose your clients, hours and pricing. 
Get personal training insurance. The next step in becoming a personal trainer is to get yourself insured. Getting insurance is a must for any trainer, regardless of which career path you opt for. There are two kinds of insurance which we recommend all PTs to get as an absolute bare minimum. Public liability insurance and professional indemnity insurance. These types of insurance will protect you against equipment failure or breakage. For example, you could have a set of suspension ropes that snap during an exercise with a client. Incorrect exercise or posture advice. You might suggest a specific exercise that the client is unable to perform or they perform incorrectly and subsequently injure themselves. Poor nutritional advice. A specific diet or meal plan that may have caused adverse effects or made your client unwell. Harassment claims, such as inappropriate or malicious comments from either you or your client. Injuries to your client or yourself. You could break your leg, either inside or outside of work, making you unable to execute your duties as a personal trainer. Injuries caused by you or your client. You might fall while spotting, causing the weight to slip and injure your client. PT insurance is around just £40 a year, and you can get it from fitness insurance companies like fitpro.com, Insure for Sport, or UK Coaching. Finding your first job as a personal trainer. At Origin, we always recommend to our graduates to initially work for a gym before jumping in to becoming an independent personal trainer. This allows you to learn the commercial aspects of the role, gain industry experience, and build a client base in a stable environment. First, you need to ensure you'll get your CV geared for a personal training role. This includes adding in your personal training qualifications, tailoring your hobbies and interests to be more fitness specific, and altering your key skills to mirror those important to a personal training role. We have put a link in the description to how to write the perfect personal trainer CV. Once your CV is looking tip top, the best place to start your personal training job search is with leisure specific sites. Sites like Leisure Opportunities, Active Careers, Flow Sports, or Leisure Jobs are a great place to start. They have thousands of personal training jobs, from major national gym chains through to privately owned studios. On Leisure Jobs, simply create your account, upload your CV, and you can start applying. We have put links in the video description to these websites for you. Alternately, you can use major online job boards such as read.co.uk or Indeed, which consistently advertise tons of personal training jobs. If there's a particular gym or company that you're especially wanting to work for, go to their website and browse the career section, like this one from Pure Gym, or this one from Nuffield Health. You might find that some companies only post on certain job sites and others only advertise on their own website. For this reason, we suggest you using a variety of methods when job seeking. On that note, that wraps it up for this video on how to become a personal trainer in the UK. Feel free to download our free course prospectus, which will be on the first comment of this video. Let us know which career option you're thinking about pursuing in the comment section below. Remember to like this video, hit subscribe and click the bell icon for more personal training career tips. My name's Luke Hughes from Origin. Thanks for watching.